Hi folks, I'm Lorraine Jordan, Lady of Tradition from Raleigh, North Carolina. And guess what? I got the Carolina Road Boys here and here we are in California. And guess what we're doing? We're hanging out with all grass music. And guess who's hanging out? Alan Dyer, Warren Blair, Wayne Morris, Kevin Lamb, and Ben Green. band for about 25 years. Uh, this particular combination, banjo player has been with me for 17 years, Mr. Ben Green. Alan Dyer's been with me for five years. Uh, Kevin Lamb's been with me for two years. Wayne Morris has been with me for about four months. <laughs> Wayne's been with um, I've been with him for four jobs. Yeah. <laughs> really good ones too. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason I'm called the Lady of Tradition is because Tom T. and Dixie Hall gave me that name because I'm responsible for the song that came out called True Grass and different songs that keep traditional music alive and uh, trying to keep it true, keep it blue, and keep it traditional. So here I am, Lady of Tradition. We've been very honored to win some IBMA awards. Uh, I won some with the Daughters of Bluegrass. Um, actually, uh, it was recording event of the year. We won that more than once. And also, uh, my banjo player, Ben Green, uh, he was banjo player, traditional banjo player of the year, 215 for this big one. I was the female vocalist in 215. And our song, That's Kentucky, was the song of the year for 215. Well, I'm uh, playing a Hall of Fame Gibson Mandolin right now. Gibson Custom Factory made that for me because of the song we do, the Elmer Rose Old Mandolin. It's um, my favorite mandolin I've played before. I've played several Gibson, but this one has got them all beat. Uh, it's got great tone, good quality, uh, good sound, and I get a lot of attention with it because it looks like Bill Elmer Rose Old Mandolin because it's very old looking. It looks just like his mandolin. If you look in the case at the Country Music Hall of Fame, you'll say, there's Lorraine's Manlin, but it's not Lorraine's Manlin, it's Bill Monroe's Manlin, but mine looks just like his, so I'm honored to play that. I, I'm, my name is Warren Blair, and I play currently at this time a 1746 Italian violin made by Dominicus Busson. And uh, it's a wonderful instrument, and I play uh, the bow to match it is a Albert Nuremberger from 1920. Uh, I'm Alan Dyer and uh, I play rhythm guitar with the band and uh, I play a 1949 D28 Martin and uh, that's my go-to guitar and I've had the guitar I guess about three or four years now and uh, it's, it's one of my favorites to play. I'm Wayne Morris, I play lead guitar and I have a 1986 Martin J40 acoustic guitar, wonderful guitar, it's got a beautiful neck on it, plays great, sounds great and I really enjoy playing it and I've only had it about three or four months, but that's what I love to play. And I play Lorraine's, matter of fact, I play Lorraine's D28 from time to time. I think hers is a 1990 D28. That's a sweet guitar also, and I play that sometime too. Well, my name's Kevin Lamb, and my go-to hey, instrument is a 1938 K upright bass. Uh, I, I have several different ones at home, um, a couple farm-made ones, but when I'm out playing, that's what I like to carry with me. I brought a Hatfield Celebrity banjo with me to play at this festival. I've got four or five other banjos. I've got a couple of Gibsons, but uh, his banjo is equally as good as they are. So that's what I brought to play out here on this festival. He lives in Kentucky. He's an instrument builder. Uh, I'm Lorraine Jordan. Hey, we got a lot of great songs, and uh, we, we all enjoy every song we do. I like doing the country grass songs. We do some songs like Seminole Wind and Louisiana Saturday Night. We grass those up. Uh, we've recorded the 12 Grand Old Opry Stars, and uh, they're on our country grass CD. And we do traditional bluegrass music, and then we uh, put that with classic country. And put it together, we call it country grass. So I guess I'm a favorite of the country grass. What about y'all? We just recently did our first all gospel project. Um, this band had never done a complete all gospel project, but it's uh, titled I Can Go to Them. And there's an acapella song that's the title track on that project called I Can Go to Them. Uh, and it's a beautiful song, and we, we get a lot of uh, response from the crowd whenever we do that song. 
Marco. Hey, we got a brand new CD coming out. It's going to be called A Little Bit of Bluegrass. Chase Your Blues Away. It's got some great songs on it, like Just an Old Penny. Uh, a song that Donna Ulysses and myself wrote called Mama Stoss. Uh, David Stewart and Frank Brinkman were good songwriters that gave us several good songs off that CD. We got to bring back some old standards like Molly and also uh, some songs that Carolina Road did uh, back in the early 2000s. We're bringing back several of those like uh, Melinda and also we're bringing back uh, Homesick for the Blue Ridge. And, uh, and we've got a, um, a website. You can go to Lorraine Jordan and CarolinaRoad.com. You can find us on the web. Um, you can buy our music, at, uh, you can download our music at uh, Spotify, Apple Music, all of the, the streaming platforms that are out there, you can find Carolina Road Music. Uh, we've got a lot of videos on YouTube. Um, we also, um, Lorraine has a coffee house and uh, every Friday night you can go to Lorraine's Coffee House Facebook page and uh, live stream the shows for free. 7 30 every friday night eastern Great standard eastern. time that's right eastern standard time and fine castle records is our record label and they put out a lot of good product for us